Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman and our topic for today is conversion of units of measurements. This tutorial video will help and guide you on how to convert of one unit of measurement to another unit. It will also help you to master the conversion of English system of measurement to metric system of measurement or vice versa. Specifically, we will discuss the conversion of measurements for length mass or weight, and capacity. The first part of our topic is conversion of unit of measurement for length. So here are the steps in conversion of units. First, identify the unit you are starting with. Number two, identify the unit you want to end with. Number three, find the conversion factor or factors that will convert the starting unit to ending unit. Using the fractional form, the unit you want to end with B, the numerator, the unit to be cancelled will be the denominator. And finally, set up mathematical expression so that all units except the units you want to end with will not be cancelled. To help you to master the conversion of English system of me measurement to metric system of measurement and vice versa, it is quite helpful if you will memorize or you know this table of conversion. So say for instance, we have English measurements to English measurements. So again, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches or in symbol IM. 1 foot is equal to 3 feet. 1 yard is equal to 36 inches while well, 1 mile is equal to 5,280 feet. And here are the equivalents from English measurement to metric measurements. So 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters approximately. Then we have 1 foot is equal to 30.38 cm. 1 yard is equal to 0 0.9 meters or meter. And 1 mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. So let's have our example number one. Convert 48 inches to feet. So the first step is to find the conversion factor, meaning to say that is 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. We will express this one as our fraction form, such that we would like to cancel out inches and we will leave only for feet as unit. So we will have 48 inches times our conversion factor, so we have 1 foot all over 12 inches, and I can factor out the inches and inches. So we have here 4 feet. Therefore, we can say that 48 inches is equal to 4 feet. Let's have our example number 2. Convert 2 miles to inches. So again, like what we have done in example number 1, we will find the conversion factors. Notice that there is no direct conversion from miles to inches. So that is why we will take 5,280 feet is equal to 1 mile. In fraction form, we have this. Also, 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. So this is the fraction form. So again, we will multiply 2 miles times 5,280 feet all over 1 mile. I can factor out miles and miles. However, I want inches as the end. Okay, units. So I'll multiply this by, okay, 12 inches all over 1 foot. Then I can factor out feet and foot. So I have 2 times 5,280 times 12. So 2 miles is equal to 126,720 inches. Okay, so now that you know how to convert English measurement to English measurement, this time we will convert English to, okay, metric system. So let's have example number three. So convert 9 feet to meters. Again, we will look for the conversion factors such that 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. So and 0 0.09 meter is equal to 1 yard. So... We have 9 feet times 
one yard all over three feet to factor out the feet. So if I'll factor out the feet, I have now here, okay, nine feet times one yard. But I'll multiply the second conversion factor, which is 0.9 meter all over one yard. So I can factor out now the yard. Okay, so we have now, okay, 9 times, okay, 0.9 meters divided by 3 feet, so I have 2.7 meters. So therefore, 9 feet is equal to 2.7 meters. On number 4, let's try to convert metric system to English system. Convert 25 kilometers to mile. So first, Let's find out the conversion factor such that 1 mile is equal to 1.6 kilometer. And this is our okay, fraction form. So we will multiply 25 kilometers times the conversion factor of 1 mile all over 1.6 kilometer. I can factor out the kilometer. So we have now 25 times 1 divided by 1.6 so we have 25 kilometers is equal to 15.625 miles. A while ago, we talked about the conversion of English system to metric system and vice versa. Today, the use of metric system of measurement is recommended because the computations are easier and consistent. It uses the power of 10, and there are prefixes that describe each power of 10, as we can see on the table. So say for instance, I have kilo as the prefix. We have the symbol K and the factor as 1000 and the power of 10 is 10 to the third power. On the other hand, if I say, okay, centi, the symbol is C, and the factor is equal to 1 over 100 and exponential form, or the power of 10 is equal to 10 raised to negative 2. Here is the table for the conversion of unit of measure for length. So the standard uh, unit of length is meter. Say for instance that is 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter. Then we have 10 centimeter is equal to 1 decimeter. Then we have 10 decimeters is equal to 1 meter. Then we have 10 meters is equal to 1 decameter. Then we have 10 decameters is equal to 1 hectometer. And we have 10 hectometers is equal to 1 kilometer. Using our converter diagram for length, so take note that we multiply when changing from larger unit to smaller unit or we simply move the decimal point to the right okay on the other hand when we divide okay when changing from a smaller unit to larger unit or simply as move the decimal point to the left say for instance we would like to convert 5.43 meters to centimeters first so this is the conversion from larger unit to smaller unit so the first thing that we will do is actually we will use the first method of conversion factor such that the conversion factor that is 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter and this is the factor form so we will multiply this to 5.43 so 5.43 meters times 100 centimeters all over 1 meter i can factor out the meters here so therefore, we have 543 centimeter. This is the same as 5.43 meters. The second method is using the metric converter. So I have here two steps from meters to centimeters. So I will move from the larger unit to smaller unit. So therefore, I have 5.43. I'll move two spaces to the right. 1, 2, and do not forget to put the decimal point here now. So therefore, this is the same as 543 centimeters. Thus, 5.43 meters is equal to 
543 centimeters. Let's have another example. Convert 6,500 meters to kilometers. So again, we will use the conversion factor such that Okay, 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, and this is the fraction form. So we will multiply this to 6,500 meters and can factor out the meters. So we have 6.5 kilometers is equal to 6,500 meters. On the other hand, if I'll use the metric converter, take note that there are three steps going. Okay, from meters to kilometers. So this is 1, 2, and 3. So therefore, I had the decimal point after the last 0 and 6,500. So I'll move the decimal point 3 times or 3 spaces to the left. So I have 1, 2, and 3. And do not forget to put the decimal point. So therefore, this is equal to 6.5 kilometer. Thus, 6,500 meters is equal to 6.5 kilometers. So let's move on to the second part of conversion. So this time we will have the conversion of units of measurements for mass. And this is the table. So we have the unit of mass or weight in symbols as well as the equivalent in mass or weight. So we have 10 milligrams is equal to 1 centigram. 10 centigrams is equal to 1 decigrams, while 10 decigrams is equal to 1 gram. 10 grams is equal to 1 decagram, while 10 decagrams is equal to 1 hectogram, and 10 hectograms is equal to 1 kilogram. Again, using the converter diagram for mass or weight, we multiply when changing from a larger unit to a smaller unit or simply move the decimal point to the right. However, we divide when changing from a smaller unit to a larger unit or simply as move the decimal point to the left. Let's have example number 7. Convert 350 grams to kilograms. So take note that our conversion is actually from a smaller unit to larger unit. Again, if we will use the conversion factor, so this is 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And this is the factor form. So we will multiply this to 350 grams. Take note that I can factor out the grams here and grams in denom denominator. So I have 350 divided by 1,000. So this is equal to 0.35 and copy the kilogram. On the other hand, if I want to use the metric converter, take note that I'll move three spaces coming from grams to kilogram. So we have from grams to decagram to hectogram to kilogram. So the decimal point of 350 is here. So this is on the rightmost okay, place. So I'll move three spaces. I have one, two, and three. And I'll move the decimal point to the left. So therefore, this is 0 0.35 kilograms. Thus, 350 grams is equal to 0 0.35 kilograms. Let's have another example. Convert 48 hectograms to centigrams. So, if you will observe, our conversion is from smaller unit to larger unit. So, let's use the first method. So, that is using the conversion factor. So, that is 10,000 centigram is equal to 1 hectogram. So, again, multiply this to 48 hectogram. So, 48 times 10,000. So, this will result to 400. 80,000 centigram. Another method is our metric converter. Take note that there are actually four steps from hectogram to okay, centigram. So we have one, two, three, and four. So since we have okay, 48, so this is the decimal point and we would like to move the decimal point 
four spaces to the right. So let's count one, two, three, and four. And do not forget to move the decimal point here. So therefore, this is the same as 480,000 centigrade. So therefore, 48 hectograms is equal to 480,000 centigrade. So let's move on to the third type of conversion of unit of measurement. So this time we will focus now on conversion of unit of measure on capacity. So we have the following symbol as well as in word form and the meaning. So we have KL meaning to say that is kiloliter, that is 1000 liters, hectoliter, so that is 1000 liters, decaliter is 10 liters, Liter is, of course, 1 liter. Deciliter is 0.1 liter. Centiliter is equal to 0.01 liter. While millimeter or milliliter is equal to 0.001 liter. So again, using the converter dia diagram for capacity, we multiply when changing from a larger unit to a smaller unit. Or simply, we move the decimal point to the right. On the other hand, we divide when changing from a smaller unit to a larger unit, or simply as move the decimal point to the left. Let's have example number 9. So convert 414,600 milliliters to decaliter. Using the conversion factor such that 1 decaliter is equal to 10,000 milliliters. This is the fraction form that we will use since we want to find out or we want to cancel out milliliters. So, 414,600 milliliters times 1 decaliter all over 10,000 milliliters factored out the milliliters. So, we have okay, 414,600 divided by 10,000. So, this is the same as 41.46 decaliters. On the other hand, if I'll use the metric converter, so take note that there are four spaces from milliliters to decaliters. So, if I have here the decimal point of 414,600 on the rightmost, I'll move that four spaces to the left. So, therefore, I have 41.46 decaliters. So therefore, 414,600 milliliters is the same as 46.46 decaliters. Let's move on to the next example. Convert 26 liters to centiliters. So take note that our conversion is from larger unit to smaller unit. Using our conversion factor such that 1,000 centiliters is equal to 1 liter. So, and this is our conversion factor in fraction form. So, I have 26 liters times 100 centiliters all over 1 liter and factored out the liters. So, I have 2,600 centiliters. On the other hand, if I would like to use the metric converter, Take note that there are two spaces going to the right from liters to centiliters. So, this is my decimal point, 26, and move the decimal point two spaces to the right. And do not forget to put the decimal point here. So, therefore, this is equal to 2,600 centiliters. Thus, 26 liters is equal to 2,600 centiliters. So that ends our discussion for today. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on my new videos. Thank you once again.